South Africa faces a critical deadline of just 100 days to upgrade its prepaid meter software. This is to ensure its continued operation. The existing software, which creates unique recharge codes for prepaid electricity meters, is scheduled to expire on the 24th of November this year. Let's unpack this further with uh, Professor Samson Mampueli, who's the head of energy secretariat at the South African National Energy Development Institute. Prof, a pleasure to have you on the program this evening. Uh, so with only 100 days remaining, as mentioned, uh, how would you assess the current progress of the prepaid meter software update across the country? Uh, are there uh, particular regions, for instance, or municipalities that are ahead or, or lagging behind in this process? Yeah, good evening to you and the viewers. Uh, you will recall that We've been talking about this uh, on Newsroom Africa, actually, um, for quite a long time. Mm. Uh, yes, there are municipalities that are ahead, and there are municipalities that are still behind. And uh, the municipalities that are ahead uh, are your usual uh, suspects, like your, 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 your city of Cape Town and, and, and other municipalities, other metros. Um, the, the backlog in terms of the recoding it's, it's mainly at municipal level. Uh, ESCOM has done quite well um, because uh, some of the customers uh, can, can also collect what they call the, the key change uh, uh, tokens, uh, and then they can do it themselves, by themselves. You basically get uh, uh, two tokens, 20-digit uh, tokens that you go and key in, wait for it to be accepted, mm -hmm. and then you key in the next one, and then it gets accepted but then you need to have your purchased your prepaid electricity because immediately afterwards you need to then key in your, your, your electricity meter numbers. Uh, and then once that gets accepted, it, has, it, it would have uh, recoded your, your, your meter. Mm. What's happening is that the, 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 the meters uh, have basically uh, uh, taken more, would have taken more than enough uh, numbers that they could take. Uh, by by the 24th of November uh, this year, uh, which is why there's a need for for this uh, recoding. So the recoding basically clears the the, the previous data, mm. and then you basically start afresh with your with your municipality meter. There there, there are um, about 1.5 to 1.5 million uh, uh, prepaid meters that have not yet been precoded. And I'm, I'm talking about uh, the meters on the municipality side and also on the ESCOM side of mm. things. What we expect is that there will be a rush um, towards the end of the nine, of the 100 days uh, when when people start to realize that they might not be able to, to, to continue to have electricity in their houses and then they will rush to try and, and, and catch up in terms of the coding. Mm -hmm. But what are the primary challenges facing ESCOM and municipalities as well in meeting the software, uh, call it the software switch over the deadline? And how are these challenges even being addressed from what you're aware of? The main thing is awareness, and, and I've seen that uh, ESCOM has ramped up in terms of uh, uh, making, that, uh, making people aware of, uh, of this particular issue and, and, and uh, uh, calling them to come forward uh, to, to, to collect those tokens and, and start the recording of, the, of, their, their, of their meters. Um, municipalities have not been very vocal as well in terms of this particular issue. Uh, it's mainly uh, uh, the, the newsrooms, such as your newsroom Africa, that broke the news. Mm. Uh, I, I still remember, I, I think it was more than 150 days ago or something, mm. where I, when I was called by newsroom Africa to explain this particular matter, and, and we, ex we started explaining it. So basically, the awareness has always been more on the, on the side of the of, 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 of the, the, the news uh, houses mm. as opposed to the municipalities and, and, and ESCOM in this particular case. So what needs to happen is that uh, the uh, ESCOM needs to ramp up in terms of awareness. I think they need to go to an extent of sending uh, uh, SMSs to people who have not yet recorded mm -hmm. uh, and indicate to them that they need to record and this is the process that they need to follow. The same applies with the municipalities as well. But how is the general public being informed about uh, the urgency and procedures of the prepaid meter software search? Uh, are there any specific outreach or education efforts in place? Uh, ESCOM is doing that through their website, but uh, 
if you look at the, that, it, it, it basically means that they, they, they are only reaching out to people who, who, who can have, who have got access to, to the internet. Uh, I haven't seen a situation where they, 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 they go to a level where they can uh, access people who don't necessarily have the, the access to the internet. Mm. And the majority of South Africans have got, have got cell phones that they use when they, they even purchase this electricity. So ESCOM has got that database that they can use. Uh, maybe the Poppy Act is preventing them from doing so, but I don't know. Uh, municipalities have not done well, mm. uh, in my view, in terms of uh, the awareness uh, of what needs to happen and how it can be done and all that. Um, I, I live in a municipality myself. I haven't seen any efforts by the municipality to educate the, 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 the residents about, about this particular aspect. Uh, like I indicated, it's more the media that is driving the, mm. the, the awareness on behalf of, uh, of both the uh, ESCOM and municipalities. So for residents who might miss uh, this deadline or face issues with the DIY uh, recoding process, what contingency plans are being put in place to really address, uh, call it the potential disruptions in the electricity supply? Yeah, so the, the, the disruptions can, can be uh, avoided. What will happen is that the, when they run out of electricity on their, on their meter box, on their, on their prepaid electricity meter, and they, they try to recharge, uh, they will not be able to recharge, uh, which basically means that uh, the units they, that they have will run out and then they have to go to either ESCOM or municipality and, and go through the process of recording of, of, their, of their meters. Uh, in some cases, they might have to take the meter with them. Uh, th there are those meters that, that can be mobile. They might have to, to take them with them to the municipality or to ESCOM for them to be, to be recorded because uh, the, the, the DIY kind of a process works well before the expiry date, which is the 24th of November. Mm. Uh, but what technical issues are most uh, commonly encountered during uh, such a recording process? And, and how are these issues being resolved from what you know? Is there support available for customers who even experience some difficulty? Yeah, the, the, the difficulties uh, are mainly when you do, through, do it through the DIY uh, process. Uh, when you input the tokens, which is a 20-digit digit token, you have two tokens. Uh, if you don't follow that particular process of inputting these tokens, mm. uh, you might have a, a, a problem because the, the meter will not be able to access, uh, to, to, to accept the, 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 the tokens that you are, you are inputting. In some cases, some meters may not be able to communicate with the with the system that they, they have on the poles, uh, remember that uh, these meters are connected to a, a, a gateway kind of a system that you have in the pole where the, the, your 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 cable comes from to come and connect with this particular meter. So in some cases, we have seen that uh, uh, um, you, when you try to input these codes mm. or, or when you try to recharge, uh, there is a, a, a difficulty in communication. With the with with the gateway system, uh, so so those are some of the technical glitches. But those those get solved quite easily uh, because it's a matter of waiting uh, and then trying again. Um, uh, yeah, it it, it it disrupts the process. But in the end, if you keep doing it, uh, it, it might be able to communicate with the gateway mm -hmm. uh, quite easily and then do it for you. And as we wrap up, Prof, uh, how is ESCOM ensuring that all authorized vendors? are actually compliant with the new system and are not contributing to the sale of uh, illegal or, or ghost tokens as well. Uh, do you know if there are measures in place to really tackle this kind of issue? Yeah, um, in, in terms of the vendors, the, the, the legal vendors are registered by ESCOM and, 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 the, and the municipalities. And, and those are given guidelines, proper guidelines, which, is, which, which, which are basically the standard operating procedures. Uh, they also know what to do when 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 these meters come to them. Um, uh, for those who are not doing the doing the DIY, DIY system, we we do still have a huge problem of um, uh, token uh, 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 theft. Um, but this particular process uh, so far has proven that uh, 
we, we don't have a lot of tokens out there, especially for the, the key change tokens. Uh, those ones, you can only get them at municipalities and at, at ESCOM for now. Uh, but however, we cannot uh, guarantee that the, the criminals will not get hold of this, these tokens mm. and then continue to provide their, their own uh, tokens of electricity outside of the normal or, or, or the, the accredited kind of a, a system. Uh, we for for now we see that uh, the, uh, the 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 switch uh, that is that is taking place it's even disrupt disrupting uh, the the criminals who have been uh, 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 selling mm. um, uh, 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 fake tokens or, or or the tokens that are not registered in the system. Prof, let me thank you for your time and sharing your valuable insights into this uh, critical switch over of South Africa's prepaid meter software.